Now that we've covered the weapons you'll be able to play with in the Titanfall 2 technical test, maybe you're wondering what attachments are available. How much depth is there in the game? Well I've been assured that there are more attachments in the final game as well as more variations of scopes, but in the build I played we had a select few to pick from, those were extra ammo, that's pretty self explanatory, gun runner which let you shoot while sprinting, it's pretty important, speed loader which guess what? lets you reload faster, and gun ready, which lets you aim down the sight faster. All of the weapons had similar attachments, but the sniper rifles had an extra attachment called ricochet, which as the name would suggest allows your bullets to ricochet off surfaces and still do damage to enemies. Your primary weapon could have two attachments and a scope, whilst your secondary weapon could just have two attachments. As well as your weapons and pilot abilities, you could also choose from two different kit options. Kit 1 let me choose between a power cell to reduce the cooldown on my tactical abilities, faster health regen or a phase embark into my titan, that basically lets me teleport into my titan rather than going through the animation, quite interesting. Kit option 2 let me pick between a kill report which marks enemy death locations on the hood, a wall hang which of course was available as standard in titanfall 1, just kind of letting you hang off walls with your knife, and hover which allows you to stay hovering in midair when you aim down the sight. Useful to break your momentum and throw other players off guard. Of course there were also grenades that you could pick from, your standard frag and arc grenade that stuns pilots and blinds titans, particularly useful, an electric smoke grenade which will fill an area with dangerous electric smoke and the gravity star that pulls in enemies and projectiles before exploding causing damage. As well as your character loadout we all had boost cards, if you remember in the original titanfall you had access to a massive deck of burn cards, these were cards that you could equip that give you maybe amped weapons straight away or even ones that dropped in a titan at the start of the game. Boost cards are similar but they seem to be a little less overpowered this time and you've also got to earn them during a game because then you can equip them and then just hit a button on the d-pad and you can activate them. We also had access to ticks, these were little spider bombs, quite brutal actually, they just hopped around the level trying to explode. You have to unlock the boost card first using the in-game credit system, I'm pretty sure that there will be a significant amount of boost cards to choose from when the game releases, with a lot of them attached to higher levels. I'm just hoping though that there aren't any that are a bit too overpowered. Also good news and bad news, the smart pistol is in the game again, but it's not a main weapon that you can equip anymore, it's a boost card, so unfortunately it's still there in some form but at least it's only a one use thing and that's something I guess. Now onto the titans, I'm sad to say that we didn't get to play hands on with the Ronin titan, that's the one that has the sword, so I can't confirm or deny how awesome that is, but we did get to play with Scorch and Ion. Now the titans themselves are all very unique, so each titan will have a certain size, weapon and manoeuvrability, and then you can pick some kit options that you want to go with, but from the looks of it you won't be changing the titans primary weapons like you could in the first game. Now for the titan kit option we could pick between having a more lethal auto titan, an extra dash, or having our titan start with 20% core build time, and that if you remember is for their ultimate ability. The titan kit was a choice between a bubble shield over your titan when it drops or you can have your titan warp into battle and then the third kit was specific to the titan that you were choosing. So for example for iron we could either amplify the vortex shields damage output or have his splitter rifle restore energy on non split critical hits. Scorch on the other hand had two options as well, we either increase the spread of his wildfire ability or we could have his thermal shield last longer and deal more damage. So essentially each titan has three kit slots, two of them seem to be generic across all titans, and the third is specific to the titan that you're using. Weapons and abilities though are set depending on the titan that you pick. Overall I really enjoyed what the customization had to offer here, as you would expect you can customize your loadouts how you want, and we could even change weapons on the fly inside the game, which I hope will be in the final release too. It's not shown here but I was also told that there are weapon skins in the game and you'll be able to visually customise both your pilot and your titan which is pretty awesome. You may have noticed too that depending on the ability you pick for your class your character model is actually different which means that when you spot an enemy on the level you should be able to quickly tell what ability they have. You could also pick your faction which I imagine will also change the way that your characters look visually. So there we have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little run through of the weapon attachments and customization in Titanfall 2, let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up, if you didn't a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.